We're back. Yes, we are. Hello again. So we've actually been up to a bit this week. We've been um, planting out seedlings. So I'll show you that a bit later. We've been setting up this new plot. moroni has got the tiller for it. He just hired it. We'll just give you a bit of an update about what's going on on the farm at the moment. So in the dead of winter, How is it looking? Well, looking good. All right, so here's the machine. We don't know, maybe we'll buy one down the track, but we want to try it first, don't we? Mm -hmm. And Moroni's marked out all the plot, the next plot. He's going to run each row, and we're going to try and leave the grass pathways. See how that goes. All right. All right. Start her up. Whoa! Are you ready? Well, <laughs> it's kind of take. Oh, we've got so many rocks in our soil. We don't know how this is going to go. Oh, look at it go. He'll go over that a few times. It's too high. Oh, okay. So this is the deepest that it can go. Wouldn't that be like the highest it could go because you've just pulled it out? No, because it's a uh, that, that, that thing, it's got to stop it. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, okay, that's the little gauge. Yeah. Let's have a, let's have a look. On I think that looks really good. Uh, what I feel is that there is some rocks. I think the soil overall is pretty good. But look, the rocks are going to damage the teal. I want, I want the... I need to pick up the rocks. I probably need to bring the fork and pick the bigger rocks and till it again. Yeah, okay. You're going to have a whole bed done by the end of the day. Yeah. I mean, a whole plot. Start something. Yeah. It looks like Pa's trying to finish off this before the guy comes to pick up the tiller. That looks great. It looks like it's kind of been hard for him to do it though, like the handle's kind of low. Pretty low. Hello. Hello. It looks like the handle's kind of low. Can it be moved up or not really? No. I don't know, it has too much spruce, I don't know. Oh, it smells. Yeah, and one thing fell off from here. Oh no. Yes, I, need to I put a piece of wire. Yeah. Looks very makeshift. I hope we're not going to have to pay for that. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's a cotter pin. Uh -huh. But they It might be very expensive. Hello. I'm here and it's freezing. I'm just putting stuff in the bin. Hang on, hang on now. Oh, oh, did it. Oh, it's so 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 cold. Look, um, got my noble flowers jumper on. And we're gonna go for a walk. Where's he gone? You wanna go for a walkie? Yeah. He's been a little bit sick, but he's driving me mental because he wants to come outside. And we've had rain for days. It's rained for days. The driveway's fallen apart. Yeah, hold hands. And it's just been a bit miserable. 
and it's so cold. We've got snow up on the hills behind us. And I was wondering why it's so hard for us in Australia. I mean, I know compared to parts of the US, it's not that cold. And I watch the flower farmers over there doing stuff in winter and I just think, how do you do it? I think it's like four degrees Celsius today and we are struggling. We're gonna go check the letterbox. I know it looks perfect and warm right now, but it's not, trust me. So something we've been working on, which has been a dream of mine for years, probably like the last nine years I've wanted to do this. It's our driveway garden. And I've always had this dream to have like this really nice sort of um, drought tolerant garden along the driveway. And it's finally happening, I'll show you. So we've started digging out over here. So as you come along the driveway, what I'm planning, we've got to keep, we've dug to here, we've got to go all the way down to that pole. So the plan is to put, we've got some rustic poles and stuff, like they're just going to be decoration and I've got some old fence posts and stuff and I've got some poles to put lanterns on, like solar lanterns. And I will get some more really big rocks, but right now our driveway is just too fragile from all the rain for the trucks to drive on it with those big rocks. So we're gonna to have to hold off on that. But this is where the billy buttons are going. So I'm putting in lavender, billy buttons, the little native wax flower, and what was the other thing? There was some other thing. There was another plant and now I've forgotten what it was. Oh, if I remember, I'll put a I'll put a little message on the screen for you, but I've totally forgotten. <laughs> so they're just going to be kind of scattered around. So it will look landscaped rather than a, you know, flower farm. I really love how Danielle at Northlawn Flowers, if you haven't seen her channel, check it out. I love how she, her garden is a landscaped cut flower garden. It's so beautiful. So it's not in rows. It's her it looks like it must be a pretty big backyard but it's really pretty and I love it so this entry area and our house yard that's how we're going to do it we're going to put plants in that we can utilize but have them put in in a way that looks really gorgeous and landscaped okay bye bye, bye. So this old shed is going to be our flower, like, what do you call it, Mia Moore? Flower studio? Nope. Change of plans. We've had a change of plans. This big studio was always, hello, was always going to be my photography studio. And this is 2015 I had planned. We had started converting this um, carport and weird looking shed into a studio. We would bought these big, massive double glazed units. We were going to plaster it. And it was going to be my, yeah, photography studio. But my direction with photography changed a little bit. I don't do, I do all on location now, really. Um, if I have to do something indoors with big backdrops, I hire a space. So while I could use this, I have a lot of ideas that I could do and um open up themed mini sessions to come to the home which in the future I still could do however right now we need a workshop more than we need a photography studio <laughs> so anyway I'm going to show you this shed and the plan the new plan you've seen me walk in this door so many times <laughs> oh wrong way I should know how to open it and you this is where the seed mat is so this is the current state we're just going to tidy up that other shed. We'll just move the timbers out of it, turn it into just storage, um, like farm storage, which is going to be perfect. This is going to become the flower shed for now because um, it's all got double glazed windows on it and it's going to have all the proper insulation in it. We're going to fix all the insulation before we plaster, obviously. 
and it's having an air conditioner put in which because of the insulating properties of this room um, and we only hold our flowers overnight we will be able to probably just put the air con on on the really hot days and just keep it cool or we can put them in this little storeroom um, if that doesn't work we'll get a cool bot and we'll set it up in the small room and then we'll have a really cold room for the flowers if need be um, so that's number one the second one is we'll have two air conditioners for our property because one summer our other air conditioner bust and it was the middle of a heat wave like it was like 41 degrees for days on end and we almost died we had to just go out and buy another air conditioner this summer we don't want to be caught out if that air conditioner dies which it's new surely it wouldn't but you just don't know we need somewhere to go where we're not going to be so hot because it is incredibly hot and our our house wasn't designed for our climate so rather than spending two lots of money on two sheds we're just going to spend the money on this one so that's an upcoming project that has to happen asap starting with the massive clean up but yeah let's get back to what we're working on today it's for the ladies oh the grass is growing back no no the grass never left the, the grass got moved okay around. when i came with the rake but you can see the like little things when you just push in the mud you feel like you're harvesting potatoes <laughs> first harvest see over there <laughs> our first harvest of rocks yeah so if any, <laughs> anybody would like a bunch of rocks we're the people to see yeah, i'm going to take you on a walk now to a little section of our property you haven't seen before we're going to go find Moroni and Shani. They've dropped something in the dam. So future plans for this is we're going to build a proper like steps and a path up here. Because it opens out to this beautiful clearing and we're going to put a venue over here one day. I'll show you something quickly first this is a wombat hole it goes right in under there and this is all the dirt that it it's dug out to dig its hole isn't that clever hello oh you got it with fishes <laughs> did you get wet no. wow why is there a watering can here no, we can about to use it to fry the look how full that dam is was it? Geez, don't leave that pump there. It'll end up in the dam. Even the vibrations of it could send it into the water. Did you know that? Yeah. But how cool Are you it? recording me? We'd really like to put like a jetty With out a jetty. on here. Like a little walkway over the water. It's so cute. Moroni's just cut his hand. Emergency room video. <laughs> <laughs> we watch some YouTubers and they're very kind of clickbaity. And every time they hear themselves like a scratch or whatever, they'll like do the video and they'll say something like emergency room, emergency visit. And then you watch the video and it's like for a cut finger. I'm like, how can you guys afford to go to the hospital in America with a cut finger? There was this time a few years ago, I was going through a divorce and I was running along the road, which I used to do, well, 
as often as I could back then. And every animal in every paddock that I went past came over to the fence. And it was just like this little saving grace that was just sent to me to sort of lift my spirits. And that cow just reminded me of that. So I'm heading over to the studio, but this is another little section you haven't seen before. And it's like this little cute grove of trees. And in the summer it's just covered. And then in the autumn there's beautiful leaves everywhere. Uh, we've got so many plans for this place. So we want to put a pergola up here and get all of that wisteria growing across it. Those pipes are going to be buried so you can't see them. Uh, it just takes so long to do everything. Okay, let's have a look at these lysianthus. I'm kind of growing tired of waiting for them. I know gardening requires patience, but lysianthus is next level. Have they even grown? Like, <laughs> oh, look, this is the size of them. They're so incredibly tiny. I actually think more seeds are germinating. It's just taking so, so, so long. Yeah, I'm kind of tired of doing this. Just over and over and over and over. It's now got to the point, sorry about my hand. It's now got to the point that my alarm goes off to come and water these and I'm just like, oh, not again. I don't know if I'm cut out to do Lysianthus. Moroni's not impressed. He doesn't actually love them as a flower. I do. I think they look really pretty. They're like a rose. Well, yeah, I think they are. They remind me of a rose. Um... He, he would be fine if he never grows them. Um, we got some from the flower wholesaler and used them. And I think they were, I do think they added something really special to those bunches. We do have some things starting to flower and starting to pop up, which absolutely blows my mind because it is so cold and the frost is so heavy. I came out to the car the other morning and it looked like Elsa had cast a storm across my car. It was really beautiful, but... Whew, how do plants survive that? We have these gorgeous ladies. I don't know what they are. Nobody here knows what they are. My Dusty Miller. Oh, here it is. It's just starting and I've got some more over there. It's surviving. So when we put in our perennial cut flower patch, Dusty Miller's going in. We've got something coming up here. I can't remember what I planted. Bulbs coming up here. Um... These are the foxgloves. So this is the second year. So we would expect to see flowers on them this year. Our little hollyhock patch. I'm really hoping that the had this really dark, dark, dark burgundy one last year. I'm really hoping that it's self-seeded. Um, I've got some candy tuft here. It's just a little low, cute plant. I'll pop a picture up. We've got tulips there starting to like pop their little heads up. Tulips are supposed to be coming up there, but they're not. Um, I did put California poppy seeds and I can see them starting to pop up too. Now this, we have no idea in the world what I planted here. I thought I planted irises and potentially they are, I don't know. My beautiful hellebores. 
And this is Anna's Red. And she has very long stems. And she is gorgeous. Something about hellebores is, and people will say they don't last very long in the vase, but they can. And I've had them last for like three weeks. The trick is, you want to pick it after the stamens have dropped out and the little seed pods start to form inside the flower. Um, these ones are kind of getting there, I'll show you. Okay, let me see if I can find one Whoop. that's got its stamens still in there. See this one? It's got all, all those little yellow things are its stamens and they're still in there. If I was to pick that, it's not going to last very long in the vase. And this one, but it's a bit damaged. See how it's dropped them? It's getting there. It's getting ready to pick. So you just, you just want to wait longer. That's the trick. Wait longer before you pick them. Primroses will grow in the freezing cold. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't look after them properly. And the slugs got them. I've got these lovely ladies. And, of course, hell uh, hellebores. The cyclamens. They will also flower. Um, mine are also not looking very good because I've got snails and slugs. I've planted more hellebores in here, up through there. Probably my all-time favorite is violets and pansies. And I need to deadhead head these. And the trick is you keep pulling the spent flowers off. Just pull them off, anything that's already looking a bit yucky. And then the new ones, oh, that one's stuck. It's old. The new ones will just keep coming. You've got to deadhead it, though. And if you do that every day, you will have beautiful blooms. And then I've got my anemones, anemones, anemones. I don't know. There's a lot of words that I don't know how to say. <laughs> Morning. Oh, my voice. <clears throat> Whoa. New day. Same outfit. New day. We're in lockdown. What does it matter? I got a parcel. I'm going to show you. Yay. He's not clapping at us. He's clapping at the TV. Let's have a look. So this is from the florist supply. Supplier. <clears throat> if you watched the video um, a couple of videos ago about how we farm responsibly, I think it's called. I'll pop it up here. Um, I talked about some paper that I use that's biodegradable and recyclable. So I've ordered more of that just to get us ready to be really selling much higher volumes. Um, so anyway, let's, let's check it out. Ooh, I actually f forgot that I ordered these. These are little stars. This has got nothing to do with really anything else, but um, I ordered a heap because they were only $2 each. And they're so cute. Oh, our ribbons for our colours. I've just realised we're going to look like a bumblebee. Yes. Um, yeah. Do you want to hold this while I film? What's this? Did you make them? Oh, I forgot I ordered that. Did you make it a, a pot? Cake? Have you made that pancake? <clears throat> no, I'm gonna do that when Pepito gets home. Ooh, oh, and I got one? some little. I've got. Can I pop one? No, no, no. Just wait. What are those? I've got some glass. What are these called? Test tubes. Because I have a cool idea, and I think I'm gonna enter it into our local show. I reckon. I don't know what this is. I'm going to grab some scissors. I'm hoping this is like, it's, uh, I ordered a concrete planter, which is going to be used with those test tubes. Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is. And I love it and it's gorgeous. Oh yes, look. How nice. I guess they wrapped it like that because it's so fragile. It's concrete. Oh, it's put together in like slabs. How cool is that? So obviously that's not waterproof, but it won't need to be for what I'm using it for. What else hey, have we got? Oh, thing? these, look. Oh, they're very big, bigger than I expected. What is it? I bought some um, oh, I thought that was a cookie posy jar. jars oh, I thought they were a to test. Jar. So I've got four of those. Oh, spikes. 
to put cards and stuff on. That's part of our system. Not so much for customers. And then we've got our papers. So we've got the green. Pink. Um, I think this is just, yeah, the plain brown and the pink. So that's a little haul. I really like those. So that's a little bit exciting. So much weeding. So, so much weeding. These are getting planted out next week though. Hi, I'm back. It's cold and wet. I think I probably mentioned that earlier. And I'm sitting outside on our fairly <laughs> messed up veranda. I've got a, this side's painted, so I've got to work on this. I'm, I want to get these seeds in so I can clean up the veranda, get it ready to paint next week. Uh, not to paint next week, just prepare it to paint. Um, but I'm sitting here planting out eucalyptus, so I'm giving this another go. I'm gonna pop it on the heat mat. I got sick of waiting for the Lysianthus, so I've gone and put them out under the grey tunnel. So I'll just have to survive now. And if they don't survive, I'm not really sure if I care. And I just need to get this up and running again. I've got a bit of a situation here. Leak back on um i can't remember how to set it oh it's on 21 so that's good all right it'll work its way up i need to cover this with plastic stick all the little you know things to keep the plastic up and get those in i'll show you what i've got first so i've got some lavender so it's a true the true english variety that's for our driveway and then we've got eucalyptus so i've got um We'll set up here, and I don't know how to say them all, but it's Websteri, Websteriana, Webster. I'll put it up on the screen. This one, Sin, Sinaria. So that's there and here, and Pleurocarpa. Apologies if I've said that wrong. I'm Australian, I should know, but we really don't call them by their botanical names. We just call them eucalyptus or gum trees. So, and there's so many varieties. <laughs> And that is our next lot of seeds. And it's really exciting. I love that heat mat. Okay, let's get on to the next thing. Hey, I'm back. So now I'm going through our seed collection. I was thinking that I hadn't bought enough for this summer, uh, but I've probably got too much. And we've just had a little quick discussion that probably we should just stick with these varieties that we've got now rather than adding anything else in for this year. I'm just ordering it into a few categories. So our driveway garden, they're all sort of, billy buttons are growing, lavenders aren't growing now. So that's that. The things I need to sow for spring, that grow tunnel is getting emptied this week. Um, so today's Sunday. So the week coming, we're gonna be emptying that out planting it all out into the garden and I'm going to get the next um, plot of seeds growing which is these so I'm going to plant out all of these um, the basil and the amaranth and then when the frost has finished I will direct plant these ones um, we're going to start working on a perennial garden it's probably not our focus this year because we've got so much else to do but I've got the natives, I well some of the natives, I've got the eucalyptus on that seed mat now and I'm going to get some Dusty Miller started. Um, driveway garden. Uh, the meadow. So the meadow idea that I talked about in a video a while ago is to just, anything that really well self seeds is to throw that out into that meadow and it just 
It'll look gorgeous all the time. It's really for the purpose of photography, but we'll have an abundance of flowers out there if we need something as a backup or if we really like things or things we are waiting for them to go to seed because we want the seed heads. The sun is out! We feel so happy. It's starting to get depressing. And yesterday was my birthday and we couldn't do anything because we're in this COVID lockdown. It was just rainy and freezing all day. Today it is so warm. I've got the clothes on the line. The sh I'm washing the sheets. I've got the whole house open, airing out. It's not actually warm, but in comparison, <laughs> it's nice to just get some fresh air. So what we're doing today is, let me just get these on, it's very glary. We are going to go and plant out well, I've always got unrealistic goals. <laughs> so the goal is to plant out the next seven rows of plants. But realistically, that's probably not going to happen. So we're just going to go one row at a time. It takes about an hour and a half to get a row in. So anyway, we're going to work on it. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Uh, estoy poniendo un poco de composta en el suelo porque mi esposa se dio cuenta que because <laughs> he's saying he's having to put compost on the soil because his wife said it was too hard, which yeah, it was. It was too hard to dig into the soil. Mm. So it was a major fail. So now uh, <laughs> we're we doctoring it. Oh no, in español. Ahora lo que voy a hacer es este. What are they saying? We're just posting. Would you mix it by hand when you have a? <laughs> Are you calling yourself a gardening kitchen aid? Like an industrial one. An industrial kitchen aid. Yeah. Oh, we're sick of planting these little plants and we've got to do the rest. I know. But it hurts my legs. This is the industrial kitchen aid mixing the soil. Mexican kitchen aid. The Mexican kitchen aid. Be like garden aid. The garden aid. Yeah. The plants say hello. This is fever few. Did I say how good it smells? Even these little tiny plants smell so good. Hi, so we just finished it on um, this wait, that row and I think it was four hundred and I think we're going to go back on next week and see how they're going. So I think that's all for this week because this video is going to get a bit long. So I think mum's going to film next week. So mum will be back next week to show you how it's gone. Bye. That took us two hours and my and our, we're covered in mud. And our feet hurt. And, and we're obviously not cut out for this farming bizzo. <laughs> Check back in in a few years. Just joking. Come back next week. Bye.